Viscose fabric is durable, soft to touch, and it's one of the world's most beloved textiles. But what exactly is viscose fabric and how is it produced and used? What is viscose? Viscose, which is also commonly known as rayon when it's made into a fabric, is a type of semi-synthetic fabric. The name of this substance comes from the process that's used to make it. At one stage, rayon is honey-like liquid that later settles into a solid form. The primary ingredient of rayon is wood pulp, but this organic ingredient goes through a lengthy production process before it becomes a wearable fabric. Because of these attributes, it's hard to determine whether rayon is synthetic or natural. While this source material is organic, the process this organic material is subjected to go through turns it into a synthetic substance. How is viscose fabric made? Other types of rayon-like fabric requires lining-free cellulose as a starting material, but this type of fabric can be made with cellulose from wood pulp. This method of manufacturing rayon is much cheaper than many alternatives, and rayon made this with this process can be manufactured on a large scale. Cellulose extraction The rayon production process begins with the creation of wood pulp celluloses. To create quality fabric, the cellulose used should be at least 90% pure. Alkali cellulose conversion. This cellulose is then dissolved in caustic soda, which produces a chemical reaction that converts cellulose to alkali cellulose. This process removes impurities from cellulose and prepares it for the next step of the manufacturing process. Pressing. The alkali cellulose is then processed between two rollers, which removes excess liquid. These press sheets then stretch and crumble into a substance called white crumb. Aging and xanthation. The white crumbs is then aged via exposure to pure oxygen and next it is exposed to carbon disulfate to make a new substance called yellow crumb. Ripening. The yellow crumb is then dissolved and allowed to ripen for a period of few hours. Filtering and extruding. After it's ripened, the yellow crumb is filtered and any gas bubbles are removed. Next, it is excluded through a next it is excluded through a snipperet, which is a device with many holes like shower head. Finally, the resulting substance is immersed in a bath of sulfuric acid, which results in rayons as filaments. These filaments are then spun, drawn, and washed to produce a fabric that can be cut into a desirable shape and size. How is this fabric used? Rayon is commonly used as a substitute for cotton. This fabric shares many traits with cotton, but in some cases, it may be easier or cheaper to produce. Most consumers can't tell the difference between cotton and rayon by touch, and since this fabric is made from organic materials, it is sometimes seen as superior to fully synthetic fabrics such as polyester. This fabric is used for most applications for which cotton is used. Whether it's dresses, shirts, pants, rayon is used to make wide variety of different articles of clothing, and this fabric may also be used for household items like towels, washcloths, and tablecloths. Rayon is also sometimes used in industrial applications. Some business owners feel that rayon is cheap and durable, alternative to cotton. For instance, rayon has taken the place of cotton fibers in many types of tires and automotive belts. The type of rayon that is used in these applications is significantly stronger and more elastic than the type of rayon that is used for clothing. In addition, it's important to point out that rayon was only developed as an alternative to silk. Over the years, consumers have accepted that rayon does not have all the beneficial qualities of silk and rayon manufacturers now predominantly produce rayon as a cotton substitute. However, some companies may still produce rayon as a substitute for silk and it's relatively common to see scarves, shawls and nightgowns that are made out of this fabric. Rayon is produced in large-scale factory settings. The rayon fabric process is too complex to be attempted in a small business settings to make this fabric. It's necessary to have dozens of different types of chemicals and textile manufacturing machines. In most cases, rayon is made in large factories where other types of textile are also made. While most of the world's rayon used to be made in United States and United Kingdom, production of this fabric has largely moved overseas. These days, most rayon is made in countries like India, Pakistan, Indonesia and China. In these developing countries, labor is cheap and manufacturing regulations are non-existent or not enforced. These factors give rayon manufacturers leeway to generate more profit without having to absorb a high level of overhead that is necessary aspect of operating in a first world country. In many cases, raw rayon is made into a final product in the same facility where it was produced or in a nearby facility. However, some rayon manufacturers may prefer to ship their raw products overseas to have it made into clothing, household textiles or another type of 
How much does rayon cost? One of the reasons why textile manufacturers produce rayon is that it's somewhat cheaper than cotton. The exact degree to which this fabric is cheaper than cotton depends on the manufacturing processes that are used and where it is made. Rayon is certainly cheaper to produce than silk, but it's commonly accepted that rayon is inferior in quality to genuine silk. The raw material used to make rayon are significantly cheaper than raw cotton or silk fibers, but the process of creating rayon fabric is much more complicated than the process used to create cotton or silk. Therefore, rayon is only cheaper to produce than cotton if it is manufactured in an area where labor costs are incredibly low. Different types of rayon. Rayon is made in variety of different ways and each production method results in different types of rayon. In some cases, the original method of rayon production that were developed at the end of 19th century are still being used. Here are some examples of different types of rayon that are available for consumer use. Nitrocellulose. The first type of rayon to be produced was called nitrocellulose rayon. This version of rayon fabric was first developed in 1955 under the name of artificial silk and it went into a commercial production in 1891. Nitrocellulose rayon was highly flammable and it was more expensive to produce. Therefore, production of this type of rayon ceased. Acetate Rayon and acetate fabrics are chemically different, but acetate was previously referred to as rayon, which has confused things to a degree. While both fabrics are made from cellulose, the process of manufacturing acetate fabric involves creating a reaction between cellulose and acetate. Since rayon is significantly stronger than acetate, the production of acetate fabric ceased a decade ago. Cupramonian rayon is a rayon fiber made from cellulose dissolved in cupramonian solution. It is produced by making cellulose a soluble compound by combining it with copper and ammonia with, caust with caustic soda. The solution is passed through a spinneret and the cellulose is regenerated in hardening bars that removes copper and ammonia and neutralizes the caustic soda. Copramonium rayon is usually made in fine filaments that are used in lightweight summer dresses and blouses and sometimes in combination with cotton to make textured fabrics. However, with the ad advent of new rayon production methods, manufacturing copramonium rayon has been seized. Modern method. Most rayon is now made with modern method that was developed by Charles Frederick Cross in, in 1894. This method uses carbon, desulfate and xanthate to produce rayon fibers and rayon made with this process became incredibly popular in the United States and the United Kingdom um, in the first few decades of the 20th century. It is much cheaper to produce rayon with this method that is with any of the methods that came before which is why this type of rayon became the first version of textile to enter into mass production. Rayon made with this modern method was the first type of rayon to be used in industrial applications. Lysel. Lysel is actually chemically different from rayon however since these two substances are nearly identical in both feel and durability lysel is commonly considered to be a type of rayon. While lyocell was originally developed in the United States, this, this fabric is now predominantly produced in China. Modal, this type of rayon is significantly stronger and more tensile than normal rayon. It is often used in combination with cotton and spandex to make household and, and apparel items like underwear and bedsheet. Most model rayon is produced with cellulose derived from beech trees and it is created by spinning reconstituted cellulose. Modal rayon piles less than cotton and unlike most and unlike normal rayon, it is safe to tumble dry this fabric. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and share and subscribe.